Hey guys, a little uh, update on my progress on uh, my telescope and all the goodies I need to do astrophotography. And uh, man, I'll tell you, starting from scratch, pretty freaking expensive. I think right now I've got close to five grand uh, invested in it yet. And uh, I still don't even have the, the main camera yet, which is another thousand dollars. And I haven't decided which one to buy yet, so... Uh, who knows, at least I'll have time, uh, at least a month or two. But right now, uh, the things I got, uh, I'm pretty close to getting everything, really. Uh, right now, I did get uh, a guide camera. It's a Z or ZWO1299 or 290, excuse me, uh, MM Mini. It's a monochrome type camera very sensitive and it's hooked up to my uh, guide scope uh, which is a doublet for the, the optics so I get really sharp imaging and uh, hopefully that will, uh, will work out really good I just haven't figured out the distance yet uh, to get it truly focused it's been raining and foggy for the last almost month now so I haven't had a chance to take it out to, to test it uh, next thing I got was this uh, UA, uh, USB hub temporarily, uh, which I can hook up to uh, my laptop. Because uh, right now uh, the mini camera is hooked up to it, the mount's hooked up to it, and uh, what I also have is the Pole Master uh, camera which will help me guide uh, or set the mount to true north. And uh, I could be, I don't know, like one arc second, two arc seconds. Uh, that's how accurate it's going to be. You need to be damn right on 90 degrees uh, for long uh, exposures. And uh, in this hobby, uh, you, know, you don't take one picture. You take like 30 or 40, and you're usually four to five minutes long. So you got to be accurate on your tracking. So... Uh, that's going to help a great deal. Uh, the next thing I got was uh, the Pegasus uh, power box. It has four outputs, uh, 12 volts. It can handle up to 10 amps. And uh, right now it has uh, two dew heater uh, inputs on the back, and which will supply uh, power uh, to my uh, dew heater strips for the guide scope and the telescope. And uh, I think that's about all the updates I've done on this. Uh, the power box also comes with a, a sensor right here. Uh, what that does is, uh, so I, I don't know how it does it, but it, it senses the humidity and the dew point. And when uh, the dew point is reached, uh, it turns on the heaters. So we'll see how good that works. Uh, Right now I'm on the process of uh, getting the power cable that came with the, the telescope because the other end is a cigarette lighter type connector. And uh, what I'll do is uh, cut this to length that goes to the power box. And uh, that will be a, a male connector, which I do have these guys. I have male and females. So what I'll do, one end will have a male, which goes from the telescope to the box, and the female will be on the other end that I cut. So if I need to use that cable, I can just plug those two together. And got about a hundred plus uh, heat shrinks, so that will make it look good. And the pole master came in this nice little tin, which I thought kind of a waste. I could just put it in a freaking box, but. Now I got a tin. Maybe I'll put candy in it or something. Don't really know. But uh, I did order uh, two more things. It's uh, the IS Air Pro, which is that guy. Let's see if I can get one picture of it. Here we go. Uh, what that does, I can hook up uh, everything right in here. It has uh, four USB ports, two uh, 3.0 and two uh, 2.0s. 
so I can hack uh, the camera, the mount, uh, what else would go in there? The main camera and uh, the guide camera and maybe the focuser will go in here too. And it's all Wi-Fi. So all I have to do is use my uh, laptop, log into it, and I can tr control the telescope uh, without having any cables uh, connecting to it. And uh, what I'm trying to do is only have one cable, a power cable, coming from the ground and uh, plugging in to the power box. And that's the only thing that's going to hit the ground. Everything else is tied to the telescope. And you can see I started uh, lacing it up, getting it all trimmed out. And uh, it'll look pretty good when I'm done. And uh, it's not much of a mess right now. It's just uh, I want to make it uh, a lot cleaner. So when I do move the scope around, nobody, nothing gets caught. That's the game plan at least. And that uh, AI, ASI Air Pro is either going to mount here or I'll have to take the uh, finder scope off, uh, take this bracket off and uh, stick it on here because it does come with a bracket that looks just like this. So uh, who knows? I won't know until I get it because it's on back order. And I probably won't get that until, uh, damn, probably the middle of next month, hopefully. I did order uh, two filters, uh, Optalon uh, L Pro, which is a, a UV and, uh, oh, I forget what the, uh, yeah, it's a UV IR uh, blocking filter. And uh, the next one was a uh, Optalon L uh, Enhance, and uh, that has uh, it's like two filters in one. What will uh, it'll do? It blocks all the light, all the street lights, glow light, and uh, even moonlight, and only pass uh, hydrogen A and um, Oxygen 3, those are the two uh, frequencies that the filter will pass. So uh, what I understand, it's, uh, it's a good filter for a color camera. But that's basically all I got right now. Uh, I'm going to have to wait on those too. They're not on back order, but uh, I decided to, I want everything shipped at once. So no, I can't use them unless I have the camera. So I'll just wait until uh, they got the ASI Air Pro available and uh, go from there. But that's where I stand right now. I haven't taken any pictures. I've only taken it out uh, a couple of times. But that was just for uh, visual. But uh, tonight I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook up the laptop to this and uh, make sure everything does work. So with that... Until I get more goodies, I'll update. So we'll catch you guys later.